It's December, the time for holiday illuminations. Cities and parks across Japan are draped in lights. Today, Sayaka Mori is taking in the view at a popular tourist spot known for exquisite flower illuminations. Sayaka? I am at Ashikaga Flower Park, about 100 kilometers north of Tokyo. It's cold, but people are here for the annual flower fantasy illumination. I'll give you a glimpse of what's going on. Park operators used 4 million LED light bulbs to create this vision. The park gets 1.5 million visitors a year. Roughly 40% of them come here in winter, and you can see why. Now, this is the most popular attraction, Japanese wisteria, and this is spring when flowers are in full bloom. Two massive trees, about 150 years old, create this avalanche of blossoms. And park officials decided to recreate this scene for wintertime visitors using these artificial lights. And this set alone uses up to 10% of all LED lights that illuminate this park. So let's go inside. So just like spring, people can go through the cascades of wisteria flowers and it's so beautiful and flowers are hung from the trellis overhead. It's so romantic, by the way. Now, I want to draw your attention to these light covers. They are shaped like flower petals. They're cute, aren't they? Park workers had put each one in place one by one by hand, so it took them about a month to prepare all of them. But that was just seen. That was just this section. There are so many other flower illuminations throughout the park set up by the gardening staff. The workers were also involved in designing the illuminations. They first measured the real flowers so they could imitate the flower's actual shape. They created eight varieties, including water lilies, azaleas, and roses. Some of the lights have been hand-painted. The gardening staff do that as well. They take care of the real flowers day in and day out. So who better to give them a realistic color? It's really a work of art. We don't want mistakes in recreating the flowers, so we pay great attention to every single LED. We'll continue to create illuminations that resonate with visitors. The ponds are shining, the waters are reflecting the illuminations, but it doesn't happen by itself. In fact, park officials have to wade into the ponds every day to clean them. It's a very tough job. And this park is attracting many tourists, including foreigners. And she's from Indonesia. Hello. 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 How do you like this park? Yes, it's I'm beautiful. Hmm? I've never seen uh, th this place like this before. Uh -huh. Hi. Thank so very, very beautiful. Oh. Hi. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, a, so a truly wonderful off-season blossom event. And this event will be taking place until early February. All right, that's it from Ashikaga Flower Park.